no arms transfers in violation of Resolution 2231 have been ever conducted by Iran, and no drones were supplied by Iran to Russia for the use in the, in the conflict in Ukraine. And I would recommend that you do not underestimate technological capabilities of the Russian drone industry. I can tell you we know what we do and we know how to do it. But I can tell you that, uh, uh, first of all, the press secretary of the president said that they are Russian-made. Secondly, when you see uh, the debris on the ground after they hit the targets, you would see inscriptions in Russian on, on the shell. So uh, I don't think that Russian is very much uh, widely used in, in Iran. Uh, I also heard that uh, if you speak about Iranian drones, so they have the shape of some kind of American drones, they were copied from it, so can we say that Russian drones are resembling American drones or whatever? It's, it's very difficult uh, game of the words, but I would say that uh, we have our drone industry which produces uh, the things that we need for this campaign. On the role of the UN Secretariat, it has no mandate to investigate anything regarded in, regarding United Nations Security Council Resolution 2231. Its role, as enshrined in the note of the Security Council President 2016-44 of 16 January 2016, is purely technical, to prepare meeting rooms, circulate communications, etc. They are not a sanctions committee or its panel of experts. We have been dissatisfied with the overall performance of the Secretariat in the context of Resolution 2231. They act in a biased way following the guidance from the Western capitals and engage in illegal investigations in third countries, though they have, they have neither mandate nor expertise to do so. After the Secretariat digs something or rather studies whatever ready-made is handed to it by the West, they try to present it as the conclusions of the Secretary General. This is very unprofessional and casts a shadow on its authority. We hope that the Secretariat and the Secretary General himself will not again violate the decisions of the UN Security Council and will not go beyond their technical mandate and will abstain from engaging in any, any illegitimate investigation. Otherwise, we will have to reassess our collaboration with them, which is hardly in anyone's interests. We do not want to do it, but there will be no other choice. Thank you. Thank you.